The Israeli military action drama series Fauda doesn't have a massive following like some of Netflix's other foreign offerings, but it does have a fiercely devoted one. The eagerly awaited fourth season debuted in Israel in July 2022, before being made accessible to viewers worldwide on Netflix more than six months later. Following the sad conclusion of season three, we discover Doran Cavillio, Lear Raz, to be damaged and reclusive. Hezbollah in Lebanon, however, soon poses a fresh threat, drawing him back into the Israel-Palestine conflict. Here is all the information you require on the conclusion of Fada Season 4. Spoilers ahead. Fada is an Arabic word that translates to chaos, and it perfectly encapsulates the hellish situation that Doran and his teammates have to deal with time and again. After Yara's death in Season 3, Doran retreated to his farm, where he lives alone, after he badly beats up a thief trying to steal one of his horses, Gabir Captain Ayub, Itzik Cohen, tries to bring him back into the fold. Meanwhile, Omar Tawold, Amir Boutrous, Gabi's asset in Hezbollah in Brussels, Belgium, contacts him, claiming he is afraid and wants to get out. Wanting to placate him, Gabi travels to Brussels and convinces Doran to come with him. Despite this, Gabi doesn't seem to trust Doran's instincts and pays a heavy price. Omar's employment by Hezbollah is made public. Before Gabi is kidnapped, a number of Israeli spies are slain. The nameless special forces team of Doran is prompted by this to travel to Brussels in search of Gabi. They locate Gabi in a residential building in the center of the city. Gabi is subjected to torture in exchange for information, and despite his initial intense resistance, his defenses gradually give way. One of the Hezbollah members shoots Gabi during the raid on the apartment building. Before Doran and the rest of the team can free Gabi from captivity, Omar and his associates get him out of the complex, leaving behind so much of Gabi's blood that the Israeli authorities think he is dead. In reality, Omar transports him to Lebanon and hands him over to the Hezbollah higher-ranking officials. Even though Gabi's own family accepts that he is dead, Doran refuses to do so. Sagi and Nurit marry in the meantime, but their joy is short-lived. When Nurit finds out she is pregnant, she is unsure if she should keep the child. She appears to have lost interest in her job and worries about the future of the child, especially since both she and Sagi are special forces members. This sense of disenchantment is frequent among others also. Eli says that he has been contemplating retirement for some time and gives Dana his notice after his wife tells him that she can no longer live like this. Steve's marriage disintegrates elsewhere. Are Eli, Sagi, and Steve dead? Gabi makes the suggestion that they pose as Hamas members at Omar's funeral in order to drive Adele from the area. Adele does not possess the steely commitment of a revolutionary who is wholly committed to his cause, which would make him a genuinely deadly adversary. It's also not that he is cunning and ruthless and won't think twice about killing his own people if it advances a more important cause. Adele is aware of the information that Gabi was made to divulge while being tortured, and Gabi freely admits to having given his adversaries everything. He holds a position of authority inside the Israeli government. That everything has the potential to be disastrous. In the climactic battle, which takes place in Jenin, Eli, Sagi, and Steve are shot by a sniper. Russo and Doran are also injured, but the latter manages to kill Adele. As the season ends, we see Doran lying on the ground and clutching the hands of his comrades. In the prospective fifth season, it's unlikely that Eli, Sagi, and Steve will all be dead, but it's probably safe to assume that at least one of them is dying. Fada has proven time and again that no one except Doran has plot armor in the show. Among the three, Eli perhaps faces the biggest danger. Fada has delivered a gut-wrenching ending for several characters. With Eli intending to leave the forces soon, his death will have the biggest impact. It will also drive home the point that there is hardly any escape from the life these soldiers lead. Will Maya switch sides? At the conclusion of the season, Maya entirely loses faith in Israel. She even notifies Adele and his group about the Israeli Special Forces soldiers who are attending her brother's burial while dressed as Hamas operatives. She divorced, lost her brother, and wasn't even given the respect to bury her brother in peace. The kind of resentment that must be simmering within of her is difficult to let go of. 
it is what makes people resentful and enraged about organizations that have mistreated them. She might make another appearance in the next season 5 and take on a negative role. If not, she will likely participate in her community and acknowledge that there will never be a compromise in this dispute. Does Nurit keep her baby? After finding out about her pregnancy, Nurit initially doesn't tell Sagi about it. He finds out when the nurse taking care of his wife accidentally reveals it. Surprised as he is, Nurit's words about not wanting to keep the baby genuinely hurt him. Only later he realizes that Nurit is afraid to bring the child into their messed up world. Unlike other couples in the unit, they both are members of the squad.